Hey. Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Um, just to get you caught up, I'm doing, like, I haven't uploaded an episode of this series in a while. For, for all of you that are new to my channel, Antonio's Kitchen is a series on my YouTube channel where I show you cooking recipes, unique cooking recipes that I'd like to share with you, you guys. So, this is episode four. Check it out. What is up, YouTube? My name is Antonio Zilla. Welcome to a new episode of Antonio's Kitchen. Finally, a new episode. Today, we're going to be making this custom gooey um, goodness. It's basically Puerto Rican rice and cheese. First, let's cut up some salami. Now, typically, we usually use big chunks of salami, but since we couldn't really find any or get our hands on some, we ran out, um, we're just using these slices instead. Turn on your stove, and then put some olive oil in a pan, and then place your salami in the olive oil. And then stir, stir, until it eventually starts to sizzle. Then take half a kitchen spoon of garlic paste and then mix around. This might sound gross at first, but when it's done, it'll add a lot of flavor. Next, you want to get two spoonfuls of sofrito. It's a, it's sort of a Puerto Rican uh, sort of sauce slash seasoning. It's, this one's homemade, but you can buy some at a, any conventional, like, grocery store. Mmm, yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Next, get a can of Goya tomato sauce and pour it in there, the whole can. This actually already looks pretty tasty. It kind of looks like a beef stew or something. Another thing you want to do is fill the empty tomato sauce can with water and pour it in there, and then pour it in a second time as my dad is doing right here. Next, take a packet of this special seasoning called Sazon Goya. It's a, it's kind of, it's another Puerto Rican seasoning, and uh, pour it in there. Now it'll give it color, but it will also give it a nice extra kick of flavor. Next, you're going to want to get some Goya brand green pigeon peas and then place those into the mixture. And then stir it for about 15 seconds. This video is sped up for time, but uh, in real life this is about 15 seconds of stirring. And then you're going to want to keep an eye on it until it starts to boil like this, very heavily. That's when the next step comes in. Oh, and also you're going to want to put a little bit of salt in there. And now, you're going to take some plain white rice and place it into the mixture until it barely reaches the surface just like that, and then mix it around. You're not going to need any measuring tools, it's because when my dad makes this recipe, he just uses his eyes, like he doesn't use any measuring tools, so you, you, you won't need that. And then let it boil without a lid until all the liquid evaporates. When it's pretty much finished evaporating, you're going to want to mix it around and flip it over, it's because the rice on the bottom is definitely going to be cooked a lot faster than the rice on top. So you're just going to want to flip it over so the raw rice on top will be flipped over to the bottom so it can be cooked and the cooked rice won't get charred. Then you're going to put the heat on low and put a lid on it. A couple of minutes later, check it and then mix it around again using the same method so like it w the bottom won't get overcooked. Then do the exact thing again. Then you're going to want to taste test it to see if it's finished, and yes, it is most certainly finished and ready to eat. Cheese time, now you're going to get some mild Velveeta Queso Blanco cheese. Then you're going to cut them up into a couple of slices, and then place it into a small bowl, like Diaz, as uh, my mom is doing. Yeah. So anyways, put it to one minute on the microwave on high, and then let it cook. Then you're going to mix it around a little, and then you're going to add just a tiny bit of milk, and then mix that around. This is sort of difficult to mix right now, so we're going to put it in the microwave again. Now, we put it in the microwave for one minute, but my mom decided that'd be a little bit too long, so we decided to stop it halfway through, 30 seconds. And then you're going to want to stir it around again, and then that's when it's good for rice. Alright, so I filled up a bowl with some rice, the rice that we made earlier, and now for the satisfying part. Oh yeah. Just 
Just look at the texture of the rice now. It looks so gooey. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy your cheesy rice. If you are interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and uh, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.